It's Mac the Guru. This is my review for Snowfall, Episode 10, Season 4, Fight or Flight. Now, if you subscribe to the channel already, please click that like button. That's the only way they push the videos out. But, man, it was a good ending episode. They didn't mess the whole season up. I see that with shows. Shows will be good, and then they have a... The, the last episode uh, messed the whole season up. They did a good job with it. So, salute to the writers, the actors, everybody that was a part of it. But, man, you can't trust the CIA. You can't trust the CIA, man. He pops up. We don't know if Alton is going to die, but pretty much it looks like the writing on the wall. He shows up with a gun. You know, I got it about 90% chance Alton die. Unless Sissy pop back up and, um, you know, intervene or something like that, Alton about to die. He gonna die. The only thing that will stop him from dying is Sissy popping up. Or she probably gonna come after the death starting in uh, season five. She gonna come and it'll start with her seeing Alden with a hole in his head. bro. you can't trust the CIA. I knew when they did that talk down or whatever, he was going to come looking for them wherever they went, and he did. Franklin going to have to kill Teddy, man. It was some points. Franklin did some grimy stuff this episode, too, and then he did some stuff that I like. We're going to get to Franklin, though, but he going to have to kill Teddy, man. Somebody got to kill Teddy because... This dude off the chain, he not even, the CIA really trying to be through with him, one, because his covenant been blown, you know, he done lost his brother, he done been through a lot of, he all out in the jungles and stuff, Teddy is off the chain, he addicted to what he was doing, you know, the CIA trying to replace him, and he just won't leave it alone, you know what I'm saying, like dog, leave it alone. Somebody got to kill him. I got to see Teddy die. They need to make Teddy, you know, and they got to be ugly. You know, don't give him no normal, you know, he get clipped one time and that's it. No, 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 no. He need to burn straight up. Now, the episode start off with showing a memory of Alden and uh, Franklin when Franklin was younger. And it's so necessary for the fathers to be there to talk to kids when they're younger, you know, or some some male role model, you know, especially the boys. You just got them, and you know, Franklin got a revolutionary spirit in him. It's just super misdirected, for real, you know. And Alden gave them that. And you see, when when they're younger, Alden is already molding them and stuff, and having conversations with them. And Alden was there. So we see uh, uh, really why Franklin never wanted to, to hurt. Or he never took it all the way there with Alden. Because he know this my dad. He was there. You know, he fell off the wagon with the drinking. But he was there. He made the effort. And he loved me. Deep down, Franklin know Alden loved him. You know. Now the big problem Franklin is about to run into. Or he he's ran into it. Everybody trying to get out the game because they taking so many losses now. And they up, you know. Now, I did think Jerome and Aunt Louie was trying to get out the game. But it, they just trying to get away from Franklin. <laughs> I swear, I'm like, oh, they trying to get out the game, let them out the game. Then they come trying to, you know, just purchase their own dope. They like we are stay in the game. We just got to get away from you, you know, because, and I think the big reason is then they could plan her out. If they away from Franklin, they could plan her out. But it's so hard to get out this game. That's what we seeing too. Franklin don't want nobody out. Leon even like, man, I don't, you know, because he didn't kill the kid. He like, dog, I'm trying to really just chill. But Franklin like, no, we got to, keep the family together and we all gotta keep hustling and it's like you making so much money Franklin why do you gotta keep you don't have to keep hustling 
like well you know it's hard to get out because cia but other than that like dog start trying to find he's not even looking for a way out franklin not even looking for a way out he just telling everybody come on we got to keep hustling everything gonna be okay it be all just chaos all around them franklin come right in everything gonna be okay we're gonna make it through this but if uncle jerome do go right because uncle jerome i don't think he'll kill uncle jerome either and aunt louie if they go they do their own thing they gonna have a lot of the the you know a lot of people gonna be coming to them scully because i don't think scully's dead right i don't think he did and i think they mended that situation the projects that's uncle jerome all them look up to uncle jerome now man boy territory gonna be up in the air but i think uncle jerome gonna have because people look at him and it's just more respectable how he carry himself and stuff you know franklin really let me down with the shelter scene that's when i was like you bitch ass dude but a shelter scene come on dog you you putting kids out like come on dog ain't no justifying that don't if you if you heard right now don't try to justify that dog dude putting kids out on the street it's a homeless it's like people in her Bradley surviving you throw everybody out yeah everybody get out you know what i'm saying it's like ugh. that 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 really was like i say this dude bitch ass dude straight up you know because sometimes he do little stuff like that it'd be like ugh, dog you know was you that tough when you was in jail no remember when he went to jail he wasn't all tough like that See what I'm saying? So, it's just like, yeah. Now, the Mel and Franklin scene. When he let Mel live, I think Mel is, and he didn't give her what she wanted. He never said, like, yeah, I killed your daddy. But I think Mel is going to be the one that's going to turn back around and get Franklin in the end. I do. I think she gonna end up being a lawyer or an FBI. I don't think she gonna be a, a like a, a regular cop like her dad was. I think she gonna go above that. She gonna be FBI. She gonna be uh, something like that, you know. And she gonna be the one that's gonna come back, nip Franklin in the butt in the end, and have him in jail. I do. I don't think they done with her character think she gonna come back we also got um other characters that's gonna come back right because gustavo then found his girl he didn't got him to find his girl so uh i'm sure she gonna be back for the episode after this lucille or you know she gonna come back and they gonna be working together because he love her he probably wondering why she just left him because from the looks thing she just went ghost on him you know, so she coming back. I know Mel gonna come back. Sissy, if they, you know, knock Alden, right? If Teddy end up killing Alden, she gonna come back too. Cause ain't gonna be no reason for her to, for her to stay in Cuba. Ain't gonna be no reason. And when she come back, I really want to see if Franklin gonna man up and knock Teddy off, right? Because he's scared of the CIA. He told his dad, I'm scared. And he like, yo, ain't you scared? His dad like, no, nah, man. And that's the problem. A lot of us be be too scared to die. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes it come to that. You understand? But he going to have to handle Teddy. He going to have to conquer that for and handle Teddy, you know, however it go after that, is how it's gonna go. But if Teddy knock Alden, Franklin gonna have to handle that. Now, one funny part from it was when when uh, Alden knocked Franklin out, he woke up. Did, did y'all hear him? He was like, Mommy? <laughs> it's 
soon as he woke up, he woke up, mommy? <laughs> Sissy like, I'm here. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, thank God Sissy was like, yo, I'm going with you. Because if she didn't go, uh, well, you know, looking looking back on knowing that Teddy showed up, it might have been cool for them to just have a shootout right there. Oh, good old Mexican standoff. You know what I'm saying? Had a shootout. And whoever, you know, win, that's who win. Because in the back end, it seemed like Teddy played it smooth, played it cool, and then got him. You know. But when I was watching it, I'm like, oh, good thing it's Sissy there, because she didn't, you know, calm this whole situation down. But then Teddy want to go not leave well enough alone. Yeah, man, but it was a good episode. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, the only other thing is Scully. Ah, man, Scully was on one this episode, you know. He come in talking about Franklin. I just want to talk. What? <laughs> Scully was on one, man. He was looking for death. But, you know, Scully... He really ain't have it in him. Because he could have killed Aunt Louie. And he just seemed like he going to let it go. You know? And he was bleeding out. Jerome saved him. You know, I don't think he did. I definitely don't think Scully died. You know? Because if he did, they would have showed bodies, you know. But, yeah, man. Great season. They did good. Snowfall did good. Season 5 just start off with a bang. We're going to figure out what's going to happen to Arden. Um, Mel, I, I'm really thinking they're going to go forward in time a little bit. A good little bit. And, you know, Mel will be in her role or what she, whatever she's doing with the uh, law enforcement. Uh, or is she a lawyer or whatever. She's going to be in her role and they're going to go forward. But man, it's Mac the Guru. If you're still here, make sure you click that subscribe button. All the subscribers, definitely click that like button for me. Y'all be easy, be safe. Peace.